How do you prepare when times are bad? How do you enjoy things when times are good? Are you aware of the phrase that this too shall pass? I'm going to explain this and a whole lot more on how to really understand life and probably one of my greatest teachings from the ancient world that I can teach you today. Welcome to Going Deeper. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics, such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Hey folks and welcome to this episode of Going Deeper. I hope you're doing great today. I'm your host John Morris, psychologist in training, author, speaker, teacher and all the other things in between. Hoping you're doing fantastic. Today is perhaps one of the greatest lessons from the ancient world that I can teach you. And it is all about all of these things shall pass. Now, whether it be in the Bible, whether it be in Buddhism, whether it be in ancient religions and teachings, this is a phrase that comes up time and time again. In the Buddhist teaching, it teaches that a sage, a, a disciple, a follower, um, was to give a, a special ring to the king that was there and inside was the inscription that said this too shall pass. He was a kind of an arrogant king, you know, puffed up chest and thought everything was going to be great all the time. In the Bible it talks about various situations and circumstances that throughout scripture that talks about all of these different things, you know, this too shall pass. And I wanted to, to just kind of do an informal teaching if that's okay. I want to ask you the question, how do you prepare for bad times when the good is happening? Now you may think, well John, that's, that's pretty weird. Why on earth would you do that? Well, one of my teachers talks about, and, I, and I've spoken to you guys about this before, about life and its seasons. You know, we, we looked at that in, in uh, previous episodes of Going Deeper, and I encourage you to check it out. We'll link that video together for you. Um, you know, so in the winter time, you know, maybe it's your sleepy time, it's your research time, it's your development time, and in the spring, it's when you want to start sowing seeds doing new things summer comes along and you're going to start making money and you're going to start you know maybe having a family you're going to start getting a job or university or whatever it might be and then autumn comes and it's where you start reflecting on all the things that have gone on you know there are winter times in our life you know where uh you know you try everything and it just doesn't work you know for that time and, and season and people often forget that everything that you do is sowing a seed so if you're just starting out in a business and you've only been in it maybe a year or two you're still sowing seeds you're still growing and many people give up when they're about to succeed and when you get that springtime and you start seeing things growing up a little bit you start seeing that early success and then you reach summer time it's like yes hallelujah well people get the the seasons go around professionally you know, probably maybe about two or three times, maybe maybe a handful of times if you are very, very blessed. But we're getting a little bit off track. So, the reason it's important to prepare for the bad times during the good is because the bad times will happen. And by bad times, I mean, you know, times when you've had, and I'm speaking if you're in a business here, for example, but times when you've been selling a lot of artwork or selling a lot of books or selling a lot of audio teaching or you're working with a lot of clients and then all of a sudden the well goes dry. Now, how do you prepare for that? Many people I know and I've worked with have, you know, had a little bit of success and they want to go on a shopping spree and it's great and it's fine. They may go spend $25,000, 20,000 pounds, 50,000 Australian, Canadian and New Zealand dollars and however many yen, depending where you're watching this. And they go on a big shopping spree and then the difficult times hit and then they panic because they have failed to learn one of the greatest lessons that anyone can ever do. The tide will come out, or the tide will come in, and the tide will go out exactly the same. And it's gonna do that all the way through our lives. Every time the tide goes out, it is guaranteed to come back in, and every time it comes back in, it's guaranteed to go out. What does that mean? That means that every time the blessing comes in, and it flows towards you, it's a result of what you've done, more often than not, and every time it goes out, it's when this 
particular chapter is over. So it's really important to prepare yourself during the good times. When you've got all this money coming in, don't go and spend it. Spend a little, enjoy it. But put the rest away for a rainy day and forget all about it. Because if you don't, when it gets to the difficult times, you're going to have a lot of struggles. The, the story of the ant and the grasshopper. If you haven't heard this story before, it's, it's a wonderful little illustration. The grasshopper was dancing around all over the place and, uh, you know, during the summer he was saying to the ant, Come on, ant, why won't you come and have a good time? Come and party, let's have some good fun. And the ant worked and worked and worked all the way through summer. The grasshopper's having a great time. And when winter came, the ant had plenty of food. To see him and his family through the winter, the grasshopper had none and pass from this life into the next. The importance of preparation, the, pro the importance of preparing for your future. Don't be silly and just throw all your money away. Equally on the flip side of all this, when you're in bad times, when you're in struggles, when you're in the dark times, they call it the dark night of the soul, where you're questioning your faith, you're questioning your life, you question every single thing about yourself. Know that the good times will come. Bad times don't last forever. The good times will come around again. But you have to have the endurance, you have to have the ability, you have to have the confidence, charisma, discipline to discipline yourself for the good times. They are going to come around again. And you may not believe me and that's okay, I'm not asking you to. You're entitled to your own beliefs. But I know, after being in business for two decades, being on this earth for 30 plus years, and being through a lot of things that I've been through and life experience that I've been through, I know the bad times don't last. And when you're in the bad times, there may be autumn times, there may be winter times, there may be times when, you know, it, it just won't work, when your money is dried up, when your heart broken, your, your, your love of your life is gone, and your heart broken and it's all done. These are winter times, but what comes right after winter? Spring. It's a good place to put it, as one of my teachers would say. If you're going to put spring somewhere, it makes sense to put it straight after winter, doesn't it? Prepare for the good times during the bad times, and prepare for the bad times during the good times. Because one thing you can absolutely positively be sure of, folks, they're all going to come, they're all going to happen, and there's nothing we can do to stop them. But if you can learn this, it will make you not only a wiser person, if you can learn this at an early age, parents, if you're watching this, show this to your son or daughter. Show this to your teenage son or daughter or your young child. They may not understand it at this point. They may say, Mommy, Daddy, who's that crazy guy wearing the glasses and long hair? But it'll stick with them. And when they're older, hopefully they'll be like the ants. They'll be aware of all the things that they need to do. And they'll realize as well that the good times don't last, nor do the bad times. But each one, like the tide, has its coming and its going and its season of being with us. And it's how we prepare for it. If you prepare well, labor well, harvest well, you'll be ready and less anxious, less overwhelmed when the bad times happen. Don't be like the grasshopper, friends. And that's today's lesson. Well, if you enjoyed today's lesson, please do feel free to let me know in the comment section below. You can get in touch with also at thebattlesweallface.com. If you guys are struggling right now and you've no idea maybe of where you want to go, you've no idea what you want to do, you can't get clear to save your life, you're trying to prepare for jobs, whatever you're struggling with, get in touch with us at thebattlesweallface.com. The link is in the bio section below. We've got a special discount at the moment on one-on-one -on -one life coaching with yours truly. Uh, you can have that opportunity. And if you're a teenager between 40 and 17 years old or if your parents are watching this um, and have teenagers between 14 and 17 years old we have the group life coaching course which meets each week um, and it is just 20 pounds 27 dollars a month um, to have this amazing teaching and you get to hang out with Laurie and myself and we'll be able to teach you guys and really help change your life in ways that you never ever thought possible 
Again, if you're interested in supporting the show, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash mind, body and soul, uh, where you can head over there, get some exclusive details, exclusive merchandise and all that great stuff. Um, and we appreciate you each and every single day. As always, like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing that helps them in their darkest hour. And until next time, I've been your host, John Morris, the psychologist in training, author, speaker, teacher, and all the good things in between. Have an amazing day. Take care. God bless. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as the trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the early bird special offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one. Understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. As I say, this is open only for 10 people and once it's done, it's done. So click that box below, get in touch. Let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other. And I look forward to working with you. Have an amazing day folks take care god bless and i will see you soon